Well, it's not all glitz and glamour uh, rising to the top in Hollywood, especially if you are a child actor. The new documentary, Showbiz Kids, uncovers the darker side of stardom as told by some very familiar faces. Take a look. The life of a child was not my life. I was really a little girl that wanted to play with dolls. We're doing the best that we can do on the set, but we also have to live in public. It felt very out of control to have everybody know my name, and I didn't feel like I could trust anybody. My parents tried to protect me from these dangers, but I knew that there were times when they just weren't going to be able to protect me. And director of Showbiz Kids, Alex Winter, and actress Mara Wilson join us now. Welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Alex, let me start with you. First off, congratulations. A lot of folks are saying wonderful things about this production. Why was now the right time? Because I know you've been wanting to make this for a long time, many years. Why was now the right time for this to come out? I think it was a combination of things. Um, first of all, I was ready to do it. Uh, and that took a bit of time. Yeah. Um, and I knew I wanted to tell the story a certain way. I knew I did not want it to be salacious or have a kind of a tabloid quality. I wanted it to be very intimate and very personal and uh, measured, frankly. And then I think in the wake of both the Me Too movement, which uh, created a much more public discourse for some of the more challenging things that happen yeah. to children. Um, and also because of this, the internet age, and we live in this Instagram era where you know, every five-year-old kid is immediately connected to whatever famous person they either want to be or they themselves want to be. Our culture is just so much more about this kind of constant exposure. Uh, that felt like a good time to tell the story as well. Yeah. And when, when people watch this, what do you want them to walk away from this with? Um, well, I, I, you know, I don't, I never really have a specific thesis, uh, with a movie, but I, I did want there to be a sense of the universality of this experience and that children in show business are children, you know, they're no different than anyone else's children and their lives are complicated and the life of a child is complicated, whether you're on, uh, you know, exposed or not in the entertainment industry. So I really wanted a feeling of universality, I think. Mara, I want to bring you into this conversation. You know, uh, you were a child actor um, starring in Mrs. Doubtfire, Matilda, and you wrote about um, being a child actor in your memoir, Where Am I Now? And I wonder for you, why was it important to be a part of this uh, production? I knew that Alex would do it justice because he'd been there himself. So I, I trusted him with that. I think that if it had been somebody else, I might not have done it. And I really felt, I really got a good feeling from him because I knew that he had been there. I knew that he understood. But I also think that there is a narrative about us child actors and we are sort of seen as objects of pity. And there's mm. this, this sort of story that everybody tells about us where we become famous and we become famous too fast and that messes with our heads and then we crash and burn and people kind of love that we crash and burn, but also hate that we crash and burn. And we become a source of mockery and pity and, and all of these things. And then there's those of us who, who tried so hard to avoid that narrative. I know that in my head, I was always thinking, you have to be the good girl, you have to be the good girl. You know, you always have to be nice. You always have to be on your best behavior. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's, it feels like people are watching you all of the time. And yeah. a lot of the times they actually are. <laughs> Alex, um, you also follow in this two aspiring stars. What were you hoping to show through their perspectives? And did you end up giving, finding yourself giving them any advice? I met with a lot of kids. You know, I ended up gravitating towards Demi and Mark uh, because Demi is, is a, a young actress who had started very young, who was really beginning to break. Uh, and Mark was like was green as sapling and was coming to LA for pilot season like a deer in the headlights. And I, you know, we've all been both of them. Um, so I wanted, you know, kids that could represent kind of those two different experiences. Um, and that was really important to me. It's really a commitment uh, that's lifelong. And, and it has enormous tentacles that reach into every corner of your family's life and well beyond that child's life, the mother, the father, the siblings. Uh, and that will go, that's forever. So you know, that's something I think very few people understand um, the gravity of that. And it's not a negative. It's just it's just a fact. Uh, yeah. So 
um, is really the, the if you're going to jump in, know that you're jumping into a pool you may not be able to get out of even if you want to get out of it. Well, Alex, I cannot let you get out of here with talking about the acting that you're doing with uh, Bill and Ted Face the Music coming out <laughs> later this year. You know, I, I, I stopped acting um, lo not long after the second one. Um, yeah. I really needed a break, frankly, psychologically. Yeah. Um, I had been under the sort of glaring heat of the Xenon spotlight since I was about eight, and I needed uh, some time away. So it was a very safe and familial environment to be in. Um, and, uh, you know, I know all these people I've known them my whole life they're all super close friends of mine and have you know Keanu's like my brother we we have remained very very close so I mean I look forward you know to people seeing this thing finally um mm -hmm. in this trying to release a movie during this pandemic is not the easiest thing on the face of the planet but we are yeah. going to get it out there I'm super happy with it so well that's good well I want to let everybody know that Showbiz Kids debuts on July 14th on HBO and is also available to stream on HBO Max. Thank you both for taking the time to Thank talk you. to you today. Thank you.